Hey guys, Kevin Martin here with for January 16th, 2015. Just like writing checks, I keep on wanting to say 2014. Probably be like that way for another month or so because, well, I'm really, really dumb. Anyway, um, Eric Holder, in a big move, has stopped the distribution of assets from uh, seizures. So, and this was this is in cases where no crimes have been proven, no convictions, but they've taken the money, they've dispersed it between state and local officials, and for justice, this is fucking huge. Think about it. One of the main things, other than the beatings and, well, murders, against police officers these days is... Well, corruption. If you take that, the money out of the equation, it's a huge deal. You get, instead of, basically, they get incentives to see stuff. How many innocent people have been screwed over by this? And there's lots of good cops that go along on the raids. They have no idea about the backstory. They're just doing their job. So this isn't a blanket, haha, screw you cops. No. But there is a definite element in the police forces that are greedy. It's human nature. So, yeah, you can see me. I'm in a lot of pain. I need a shower bad, but I can't because I'm goading. Um... Today should be the last really bad day, and that should, a couple days, will be back to normal. But, back to Eric Holder, the Obama administration, amazing job on this, because there is no downside to this. If they're proven to be guilty, seize their assets, if it's from drugs and stuff, or whatever. I have no problem with that. But, if it's there's no proof, and you're taking assets? Just wrong. Why should someone lose a house, their cash, their cars, just on the say so of an informant, or a corrupt cop, or whoever? So, justice in this country took a huge step forward today. So many innocent people have been screwed over by this. Of course, there's been lots of bad guys that got what they deserved, but local and state police, protect and serve, that's what you're here for. Knock off the bullshit, get rid of the bad cops, don't have unions fight for it, and then things will be a lot better. You have a lot of family and friends, cops, no problem with them. And they have problems with bad cops, but there's nothing they can do about it. So, have a great weekend, guys. Check out Zoofin.com. Got a new feature, Netflix pick of the day. And it's going to go every day. Hence, pick of the day. <laughs> have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.